Hey there, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas, SD Rover. Uh, today I'm east of uh, San Diego. So um, about six years ago, I did my initial review of the front runner drawer system. And uh, over the years, I've got about 30,000 view views on that. So I thought it's time to maybe do a follow-up, uh, what I would call at this point a long-term review. Uh, when I bought the drawers. I was really concerned about the cost, but um, I can say overall it, um, it was a very good decision. If I had to do it over again, I would absolutely buy them again. So let's start off with uh, the things that I like about the system, and I'm going to talk about a few things, three things that I really don't care much about the system, or things that are, I would say, more on the negative side. So first off, um, it's important for you to know that I have no affiliation with Front Runner. I uh, bought these with my own money, uh, so there's no kickback or anything like that. These are my opinions, and my opinions only. So here's the positives. First one is the system really keeps the rig organized. So um, when I'm fully loaded for a trip, um, the LR4 gets to be pretty full of equipment and stuff. And so having the drawers accessible to open them up when the vehicle's loaded and access uh, tools, kitchen equipment and stuff like that's really, uh, really nice to have that situation. Also things stay in the drawer system. I don't unload it and load it back in. I just leave that stuff in there. The system is pretty heavy. Uh, so that's one of the drawbacks, and it will support, uh, the drawer system will support a lot of weight. In fact, about 250 pounds per drawer. Uh, one thing I love about it is it has a lock for valuables, so I can lock up the uh, drawer system. In the past, what I've done is had a slider up here for the... Um, for the refrigerator, but I took that off because there was a lot of weight on, on that. And secondly, um, not having the slider gives me the option of moving the refrigerator around in different configurations depending on what I'm carrying at any given time. Uh, another nice thing about the system is it has these little or these little tie downs that you can move back and forward and you can secure and strap down um, refrigerators, power stations, stuff like that. I actually use the front runner stratchets and I've got a little bit of a love-hate situation with those. They're a little difficult to clamp on, but they're very secure. So once they're um, clamped into the system, it's not going to come off. Uh, another nice thing is on the sides of the um, drawer system, you can open these top covers, which are magnetic, and there's a lot of room on the side to store um, jumper cables or antennas. Also, I also keep my torque uh, wrench, which is longer, on the side there. Front Runner offers a two-year warranty. For me, that doesn't uh, do much, but if you're uh, considering making the purchase, at least you have the assurance that for two years it's going to be under warranty. Also, if you want to, they're not that difficult to, uh, to remove. So if you had a garage or a workshop where you were using this vehicle for other things, um, you can take the, um, the bolts off. It actually bolts into the LR4 using the existing um, cargo loops. So there's nothing that you have to do as far as drilling into the, into the LR4. It's already available there. Um, so that's, um, that's it. Um, this system does allow, if you have the uh, spare tire underneath the LR4, to still access through a hole and use a crank, and you can crank uh, the tire down to access your spare tire. Um, so that's kind of nice. It goes, it goes through also if you have the third uh, set of seats, 
um, that will still go down through that and, uh, and operate that mechanism to drop the tire. So here's what I've got in the drawers right now. The, um, the wider drawer, I've utilized that for tools. So I have two, two um, tool bags here and also have um, some miscellaneous tools and everything. And then next to that, I have um, my adventure tool roll, which I'm gonna do a review on this. I've had this for a long, long time and I really, really love it. It's made out of canvas. Um, and I highly recommend them. Also underneath that, what I have is my ARB tire um, patch kit and also the ARB air down for the tires. So that's very nice that they're available here even when the car is fully loaded um, so I don't have to hunch, hunt for it. Last on this drawer, I have the ARB uh, air compressor I keep this as a backup as I do use the CO2 tank now, but uh, always redundancy in overlanding is a good thing. So you can see that that's very, very organized and uh, makes it really, really nice to be able to um, get something out of the car real easily. So here's a view from the side. You can see how organized it keeps everything. And also note that uh, the drawers are both out and uh, they're able to absolutely carry that load with no issue. So let's go ahead and close this drawer. There's, a, there's where the lock is. So the smaller drawer, what I do is keep, um, during trips and everything, I keep a front runner here for kitchen stuff. So this is where I keep um, coffee, uh, paper plates, uh, coffee grinder, um, that type of stuff. So if I'm stopping for lunch, it's real easy to pull this out and access food and everything. I'll also put snacks in here. Uh, so things that would be uh, necessary to grab uh, while en route. Next is my cooking items. I have the uh, Jet Boil Genesis system. I'll do a full review on that. I've done a YouTube short. Great stove, had it for many, many years. Highly recommend it. Also keep next to that, I keep um, power, uh, I mean, I keep uh, propane fuel and fuel for the Snow Peak and also for the MSR. I use the MSR for coffee in the morning. And then behind that is my NOCO battery booster and also some tools. So always carry that since I'm out and about by myself so much. It's nice to be able to jump start myself. So that's kind of an idea of what that drawer is. Well that's all the positives. Let's talk uh, about a couple of negatives and they're they're really not negatives. They're just things um, that I've experienced over the years. The first one obviously is the initial price shock of the the cost of them. Um, secondly one time a few years ago I had an issue with the, the locks and I called Front Runner and it was just as simple situation where the lock wasn't quite uh, aligned correctly and so um, they gave me some advice and uh, fixed it up and uh, since then it's not been a problem. If you load it up you've got a lot of weight in the LR4. Fortunately the LR4 is a heavy duty truck. So um, if, you're, if you're doing overlanding I would really consider a, a, um, a drawer system I think it opens up so many options for you and it makes um, going on trips so much easier, has the security of locking up your valuable tools and things of that nature. Um, so definitely, definitely consider it. Uh, bite the bullets and, and pay once, cry once and you know I've got these drawer systems and I'm going to just keep it and every year I appreciate them that much more. Uh, I'll link below in, um, in the comment section 
They do make this drawer system for a whole bunch of different vehicles, including uh, Land Rovers, uh, Toyotas, uh, Mercedes G-Wagon, um, Ford Bronco, uh, a lot of other, um, other makes and models. So check out that link if you'd like to see if they make a, a version for you. They also make a couple of more generic ones that are not custom fit, like uh, these that fit into the um, into the contour of the of the rig. But um, definitely recommend them. Uh, if you're in Southern California, they do have a store up uh, up in LA area. It's worth the trip just to go up there and uh, kind of browse around and see all the good stuff they got. Hopefully, you find this video helpful. Uh, if you did, I would greatly appreciate a like. I'm also trying to grow the channel, so I would really, really appreciate very much if you would subscribe to the channel, particularly if you like overlanding gear or overlanding trips. And remember, get outside.